Dr. Anton Rupert, a world famous uh, philanthropist and a conservationist who lives here in South Africa, has said something that has burned itself into my consciousness. He says, conservation without money is simply conversation. It is well known that Botswana has uh, a severe overpopulation of elephants due to good management. But at this point, there's about 120,000 elephants in Botswana. That's a big overpopulation. And this situation is now arising where the elephants have got no more land. And in Angola, we've got land but no more elephants. I'd had conversation with the Professor von Hoffen about moving animals uh, to Angola. The Botswana government have donated some 300 elephants to Angola, and via the Kisama Foundation, we are now going to relocate these elephants into the Kisama National Park. And the more that we talked about that, the more we realized that what was going to make this possible was, in fact, money. And so I said to Professor von Hoffen, the Humane Society of the United States is going to accept the challenge. We are very grateful to the Humane Society of the United States who have sponsored this program, and we will be airlifting families, family groups of elephants starting um, the next week. I like to think that this is the way we should all be investing our money, and we should then have the opportunity, as we do in this case, to celebrate the return. You will see now uh, what the conditions are like in Tuli, where the vegetation is very, very limited and can barely sustain the elephant population that is still prevailing there. The reserve itself is an area of about 80,000 hectares. Um, at certain times of the year we can be carrying in excess of 700, 800 elephant. We believe we should only be carrying about 300, you know, so there are a lot that we have to, to move out. We've got to reduce the population in some manner or means. Um, obviously our options are limited. Uh, culling, uh, which we would prefer not to resort to obviously, uh, is the one option. And the other option is, the, uh, is moving them to restock game reserves elsewhere. It's been shown by the first group that we took last year that they are, that it is a good place. We've already got two berths there. The elephants are perfectly safe and doing well. There's one elephant down the, uh, uh, lying, but they sometimes get also tired of standing, so they lie down. And this one is, is lying down, but it's breathing fine, so uh, we'll get her out. It's, it's, I don't see this as being a problem. We had the same situation uh, yesterday, and uh, to separate them in order so that they don't move too much around in the aircraft, and those, those folds make it sometimes difficult for them to get up. So we'll just remove the pole, and then it can get out.
The airstrip where the aircraft landed is the Caballero airstrip, which is inside the Kisama National Park. And uh, from there to the actual release site where the elephants are then released out of the containers, is a journey of about an hour to an hour and a half. The first part is easy going. That's the tar surface. And then we turn off along the river and then the going gets a bit more difficult. I just want two more waters. In the interest of the humane treatment of the animals, it is important to regularly stop and, and check that all the animals are okay. Particularly that they've got enough water for, for, ele for the elephants in particular. Um, they're very easy drinkers in transit. So we put water, we throw water over them, make sure that they're cool and that they have got enough to drink. We couldn't have asked for better weather. It's uh, overcast and cool, so it's uh, very good. However, our one truck is now uh, seems to have got stuck in some ditch. So uh, we'll just see if they can get it out. Otherwise, we're going to go back with this one and let the one truck with the elephants go past, and we'll go back with this truck and go and see if we can get the other one out. Because they are in individual compartments within the containers and we release them one by one, it's just natural that they're going to go in any, in any direction. But uh, with communication, they form up and join together again within a few hours. Um, and in this case, they certainly did that. The next morning, they were all together. One elephant that came out had only a half a trunk. Now this trunk was cut off by a snare in Botswana and it's difficult for such an elephant to feed. However, now with this lush riverine vegetation, this elephant has got definitely a second chance in life. Come here, come here. The one elephant that was down had difficulty to get up and we left that one for the last. We first released those that were uh, standing and then it was obvious we had to cut the bars in order for this elephant to be able to get up and walk out of the container. We did not foresee this but fortunately we did have some hacksaws and we had to cut the bars out and then the elephant walked out uh, pretty easily. Um, we learnt in the process, next time make bars that is easy to just twist and take out so you don't have to cut. But it went well, it just took a bit longer on this one. Okay.
Yeah, this is uh, this is extremely exciting and also an emotional moment. It was an extremely difficult exercise. It's not easy to put uh, elephants into airplanes and fly them into Africa. The roads, the logistics, the trucks. It, it was not easy, but this was a this was a textbook uh, delivery. Now the, the elephants came out one by one. Fine. You saw the one that was bathing itself with the dust. That shows it's just checking the soil. And uh, no, we are extremely happy that everything went. went uh, there's always tense moments in this sort of operation. You know, you're always scared that something might happen to one of them. But uh, so this is the moment of great relief and happiness. Uh, we're extremely happy and, and, and also uh, for, the, you know, for the Humane Society that, that sponsored this uh, relocation. Also in their interest that all the animals are in good shape. There's not a single injury on any animal. They're all fine. So we're very happy. Thank you. There was enormous interest in this release of wildlife in the park. People came from Luanda, uh, many of them, as you could see in this uh, film material. Many of these people have not seen elephants alive before. And with the release, there were people with tears in their eyes. And they can remember the days that there were still animals some 20 years ago in this park. And this, to them, is a return to normality. And I think that this whole operation has made a tremendous emotional influence on people. Um, so you can see on the faces, they're happy. There's children that has never seen a live giraffe or a live elephant before. And I think this is an enormous impression on them. So in so many ways, this is a magical day uh, in Angola to have these 16 elephants joining their 18 friends here and living their lives out in peace and safety in Angola. We celebrate this day. It's a great day for Angola. It's a great day for Botswana. And as far as I'm concerned, it's a great day for the world. We, we've just completed the air relocation of the wildlife to Angola. But this was really sample groups because you can't put a lot of animals into aircraft. However, now we're looking at Operation Noah's Ark. And this is uh, the movement of larger numbers. We still need to move some 280 elephants and a number of other species like giraffes and zebra and wildebeest to the Kisama Park in Angola. We've been negotiating with the South African Navy and they have made available to us the SA Otanikoa, which is a large Navy supply ship. And we plan to transform this Navy supply ship into a modern day Noah's Ark. We will have all the animals on deck and the trucks and the trailers and the food and water below deck. The advantage of this ship is that we can drive the trucks right into the ship and also drive them right out when we get into Angola. We also are looking at the possibility of throwing anchor off the, off the beach of the park, because the park has got 120 kilometers of ocean front, so that we can maybe move, particularly the elephants, with landing craft onto the beaches.